Welcome back. And when we last left off, we had um, put in the first uh, day of working on uh, this overhead console. So here's the second day. And this time we're putting down the four layers um, of heavy carbon and working those in. So as you can see, the guys are just rolling that there, making sure there's no bubbles or anything. And uh, next up, I had to cut out the braces for that out of the foam uh, using the CNC machine. So these are just sort of two long braces that sort of span the length um, of that mold and allow it to sit flat on a surface when we're actually laying up the part so it doesn't sort of rock around or bend or anything like that. So they're for structural um, and rigidity, but also a, a platform, a base for the thing uh, to sit on. So just not too difficult on these ones, just running around and just making a shape that conforms uh, to the curvature of um, the overhead console. So um, really nothing difficult on doing those. It's really handy having the machine to be able to do this. It saves a ton of time. And here you can see the finished product. And of course I've taken the router and manually just by hand rounded off uh, the top edges of those and just sort of cleaned them up. Uh, so they're ready to lay out. And this is with them uh, just dry fit over the top of the mold and they fit fine. So it just needed to be uh, um, added some carbon fiber over the top of those to bond those into place. And here's the guys just sort of finishing off um, doing that. So those came out nicely. So that mold is ready to be released now. And next up, uh, Jeff laid out the uh, silicon rubber profile on uh, the nose mold. So we had that one uh, ready to lay up because that was going to be next in line. And uh, that's, he's done a nice job laying that up. Looks nice and straight. So uh, last time you may remember we were putting these um, bushings, drilled bushings on um, the aft bulkhead and the lower rear pressure bulkhead. And so the next thing to do was to use a bit of carbon fiber and just bond those into place so they can't move. And so that's done now. They just need to be drilled. So Thursday morning rolled around and it was time to attack the nose. And this is majorly sped up. Um, so this is basically the first day we're laying out the black top coat and um, just showing here the first layer going down and I'll skip over the second layer. That's the first layer going down. And uh, then the second layer has gone down now. And so we um, put a bit of the um, cabosil with resin on that um, rubber profile just to sort of put 45 degree angles on there so that um, light um, fiberglass can lay down nicely and it doesn't have to conform to the, the right angles of that uh, uh, silicon rubber. So lots of little pieces on there because of the curvature. So this took quite a long time um, just mainly because of all the curvature and it's a reasonably large piece. So and again, on the sides there, it's much better to start with or to use smaller pieces um, because of the reduced sort of curvature there, you don't end up with having all these little wrinkles that you have to create little cuts and darts in. Um, but anyway, even though we were trying to be very careful, we ended up with lots of little air bubbles in there. So it took quite a while to work all that out. And then we get the heat gun out, which helps us to see if there's any little bubbles. Um, and then finally, we can actually jump on to laying out the first layer of uh, lightweight uh, carbon fiber. So... And the, our goal was to just get the second layer of carbon fiber done for the day and then uh, finish it off the next day. So shortly here, you'll see there's the carbon fiber going down and again in pieces um, around the flanges there just makes it easier. And then um, over the top there, just a big piece and it conforms fairly well. Um, the carbon fiber much better than the fiberglass, the lightweight fiberglass does because uh, it's a much looser weave. So there's the first layer down and uh, here's the second layer going down. And ultimately all we needed to do was finish off with peel ply uh, actually over the whole thing because um, we need to take it off and then add the extra four layers of heavy uh, the next day. So there's the peel ply going down and uh, get it all sort of squeegeed and brushed in so it gets a good seal on everything. And there is the finished product. So came out really well and that, that was a whole day's work uh, just to get to that point. So quite a big part, but uh, happy with the outcome. Okay, so Friday morning, um, here is the mold for the overhead console just being released from uh, the plug and came out really well. 
um, no sort of blemishes or bubbles or anything like that. So super happy. So we're really uh, getting sort of much better at, at doing this now because, you know, we're all untrained. Jeff knows what he's doing, but everybody else is learning. So happy with how that came out. So the next thing to do was to finish off this uh, mold for the nose. And this is, again, getting the four layers of heavy carbon. So the guys are working on that. I was busy at the back working on some um, modeling stuff in the CAD software. So I didn't really get to help on this one. But anyway, so here they are um, putting down the first layer and pretty much plowed through this and got it done sort of mostly in the in the morning and uh, no problems at all. Of course, the heavy carbon goes down better than, than all the other ones. It's it really actually conforms nicely to curves and things like that and doesn't require too much trimming or darting or cutting or anything like that. So um, it was good to get this one done. And so next week sometime we'll be releasing that uh, mold from the plug and creating the core layer uh, for that one so we can actually lay the nose and that'll be quite a milestone because we'll be able to fit that over the top of the lower fuselage and the forward bulkhead and actually kind of be almost closing out one section really of the aircraft, which is uh, again, a bit of a master. So although we didn't um, create any extra parts this week, we did finish off uh, the keel, but we didn't lay up any extra parts this week. We did get two uh, molds done and one was a large one and one was a complicated one. So pretty happy with the progress that we got going on. Of course, Keith was off having his one week vacation uh, um, this week and he'll be back on um, next week through the rest of the summer. So we'll have a little bit more manpower. And there is the finished um, product. And the peel ply that's sort of up on the top there is to um, accept the braces that I also cut on the CNC machine. Um, so that'll be getting put on there um, during the week, during next week. So anyway, that's our update for this week. Thanks again for watching.